click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends i welcome you all to the subject electromagnetic field theory in this subject we are with the chapter that is transmission line chapter number 14 and up till now we have seen the equivalent circuit for a two wire transmission line along with its equations now let us begin to see whether the transmission line if it is lossless so what are the parameters what are the conditions into the transmission line equations so let us see the topic so here the title of the topic is lossless transmission line for the transmission line into the previous video we have derived the equations of voltage and current along with we have the knowledge of the primary constants r l c and g and the secondary constants we can say z0 and the propagation constant capital k also for the lossless transmission line out of the four primary constants we have to make r and the g is equal to 0 r is the resistance per unit length whereas g is the conductance per unit length so r is for the conductive material g is for the dielectric material for the example of two wire transmission line we have taken the dielectric which separate out the two wires so here r for the conductor and g for the dielectric material have to be equal to 0 so that time the transmission line is said to be lossless transmission line so on making these two parameters equal to 0 what changes occur on to the other parameters and equations we will see the first parameter of importance that is characteristic impedance z0 which in general is given by this particular relation r plus j omega l divided by g plus j omega c here so this becomes under root l divided by c so this is a purely resistive condition now after characteristic impedance we know the propagation constant capital k is given by the square root of the product of the two brackets r plus j omega l and g plus j omega c here so here the real and the imaginary part we can sort out that is kr plus j times ki we can say so kr is real part ki is the imaginary part so for this particular case the lossless uh, transmission line the equation of propagation constant k will be simply j omega under root l c so here as we have the form kr plus j times ki we have here kr is equal to 0 so in general what we used to have alpha to represent the attenuation so here attenuation is equal to zero here whereas the ki having the value that is omega under root lc actually represents here beta value that is the phase constant that is the same omega under root it will be the product of the self inductance per unit length into the capacitance per unit length therefore the generalized propagation constant capital k we can simply write j sub x b where attenuation alpha is equal to 0 so this was the effect of lossless condition on to the propagation constant and the characteristic impedance the equations of voltage and current can also be modified here v of z what we used to be having the v positive e to the power minus j times k z plus the reflection coefficient gamma 0 e to the power j times k into z so this equation will become v positive e to the power minus j times beta z plus the reflection coefficient e to the power j beta into z here so these are the two terms here attenuation is equal to 0 for the lossless line so this is for the voltage equation the corresponding current equation can be written that is i of z is nothing but v positive divided by z0 in bracket it will be e to the power minus j beta z minus reflection coefficient 
into e to the power j beta z. So here also the attenuation constant is supposed to be zero for the lossless condition. So these are the two equations of voltage and current. So after knowing the characteristic impedance, the propagation constant and voltage and current equations, there is one more parameter that is to be uh, required while solving the problems you can say and for more knowledge of such lossless lines that is velocity of propagation. So this is also called as phase velocity V sub x p. So it will be given by omega divided by beta and it will be actually omega divided by omega under root LC we can replace for the beta. So this we shall obtain that is 1 upon under root L into C simply which is equal to a constant. So the conclusion can be made that for the lossless line the phase velocity is having a constant value. It will not be a varied one. So it is independent of the frequency. The velocity is independent of the frequency. Now the wavelength lambda can be represented by the phase velocity Vp divided by the frequency. This shall be measured into the meters here along with the phase constant, the phase shift constant beta from this particular relation we can write omega divided by Vp. So this was all the information regarding the lossless transmission line. In the next video we shall see what are the characteristic impedance and other parameters for the lossy transmission line. For such more topics, for such more topics and the details of the subject electromagnetic field theory, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. Thank you.